Armored Core Law, the Type Holler Fence. A worthy frame or a gimmick that all in all only came to two parts while I borrowed the rest from the Type Judith. This is the Type Holler Fence. History. What a link should know is that the Type Holler Fence was not always named this. In fact, its frame name and two parts that share its name were first named the Kraken. As such, to start in Armored Core 4, the Type Kraken is a variant of the Type Judith known to be the more ballistic focus of the pair from Omer Science. Like the Judith, the Kraken design was created before the National Dismantlement War. However, since the frame is the type Judith frame only with a custom head and side booster, it is fair to say this variant was not used by a lot of Lynx, and the only one to bring the next into the light would be the customised Kraken named Testament, piloted by Celio, the golden boy of Omer Science. Of course, being modified in ways such as trading in one of the ballistic rifles for a laser one, some tuning in the areas of energy output, energy capacity, KP output, primal armor rectification on the core and legs, special boost in the Kraken side booster part, and steadiness in the head and legs. He also added a storable laser blade in the left hanger of Testament. All this may seem to be pushing Testament to be more like the Judith model, that focuses more on energy weapons, However, this mixed style has proven itself. Being ranked the 6th original among the 26, he should be someone on Link's studies if they wish to take the Kraken down this route with customization. Sadly, the Kraken never really stood out at all, becoming a model that just a single Lynx used, while others stuck to the Judith model until Armored Core for answer. Here saw the rise of the Lahaya frame, putting the newly renamed type Kraken, the Holofens into the back catalogue of the next designs, that when pulled out, a Lynx would see the craft has no weapons, and will have to add their own. With this short history done, the time has come to ask, how does this craft handle, and what can a Lynx expect if they climb into the Kraken, or Holofens? Well that depends on when a Lynx climbs into this next, as the Kraken in Armored Core 4, fresh off the production line, is again best described as a variant of the type Judith. It is a lightweight craft, making its flight capabilities more than average for a next, allowing for good length of time in the air, this being helped by its boosters, and thanks to most of its weapons not being energy based, allowing Lynx to use that energy instead for flying and quick boosting. The speed of the Kraken is one of its strong points, with a steady 300 miles per hour with boosters and 800 miles per hour when over boosting, a Lynx should not find it hard to make room between themselves and their foes. That said however, the Kraken at this time is about 8 miles per hour slower than the Judith when using boosters. This is just something to keep in mind, although a Lynx will not feel it to be honest, even if you switch between the machines of war. Along with this speed, the Kraken's defences are a little on the shaky side too, being hit harder by energy weapons than ballistics, the focus should still be on using this craft's speed to dodge, as the Kraken can take a few hits, but a Lynx should not get lax, as this will resort in the Kraken racking up damage quicker than expected. That said however, this is a fresh off the production line model with no tuning so results may vary when tuned. Moving on from the frame itself, we come to the weapons of the Kraken. We have the MR100R rifle in its right hand with an attack power of 1811. This rifle is what a Lynx will be using most with its partner, the MR102, which can be found in the Kraken's left hand. The MR100R is the rifle that will be the main damage dealer of the rifles, taking out MTs in two hits with each shot causing around 909 points of damage, normals in 12 shots with an average damage of 1085 from each shot, and finally the test necks will take around 536 armor points worth of damage from a single shot. Best used on foes such as necks and normals, its only downside really is its ammo count when compared to the MR-102. The MR-100R fast fire rate and short reload time makes this the go-to weapon a Link should be using on this craft. Next up is the MR-102 with its attack power of 1246. It should be clear from these numbers that this is the weaker of the two rifles on offer, with it taking down MTs in 3 shots with the average damage from each shot being 627, normals will take 17 shots to down with each shot dishing out 746 points of damage, and the test AC will take 369 arm points of damage from a single shot. The MR-102 is best used in combination with the MR-100R rifle, as alone it can take down lightly armoured necks and other foes such as MDs and normals, but any more machine with good armour and this rifle will only be chipping away at its AP slowly. 
It's a good rifle take on long missions with lots of small foes due to how much ammo it offers a lynx, but it does struggle heavily with heavy ballistic defense types next, such as Warcry and Sus, meaning it does need to be supported by another harder hitting weapon to make a dent. Next on the Kraken we have the only energy weapon, the EC-0300, which to be honest is really only there to help with heavily armoured foes, which the rifles can't deal with. This laser cannon does hit hard, causing 5148 points of damage to the test AC and around the same amount on the more heavily armoured next like Warcry. The problem with this cannon is its reload time taking around 4 seconds. This may not sound a lot, but if a lynx is relying on this cannon to take out a foe, it's a lot of time for a lynx to have to try and dodge which is using the energy to also fire this cannon to do so. There is also the accuracy rate, which is a mixed bag, as sometimes the cannon will hit and other times it will completely miss, even under the same circumstances. Finally we come to the last weapon on the Kraken, the MP-0601JC. These missiles are good, really there is not much wrong with these missiles, they do what they are meant to do. Accuracy is on point, with the only thing a Lynx may notice is one of the two missiles going off for another target, if in sight or a complete miss if there is a sudden target change from what it was already locked onto. Damage is fair with a clear hit from both missiles resorting in between 1540 and above on a normal, while single missiles will dish out around 890 points of damage to the same foe. The test AC will take 306 points of damage from a single missile hit and 612 if both missiles hit. As such, these are best used on flying foes and next that insist on taking to the sky. A Lynx will not be let down by the MP-0601JC. However, don't be surprised should it feel like the rifles can deal with such foes just as well or better. Yet from here we must look at the crack now as the type Holofens, in for answer. Here the Holofens has no weapons, as such you rub your Lynx to the side which way they take this war machine, either following its history as a ballistic focus next or trying something new with it. The important thing to note is the Holofens has improved its flight capabilities, here with a longer time in the air and with now a top speed of 433 miles per hour and with overboost it now reaches a speed of 1623 miles per hour. The Holofens, however, still has its weakness to energy weapons and heavy hitting ballistic weapons, making it important for a Nex to focus on dodging with its newfound speed. Keeping an eye on energy as well is important as the Holofens can burn through it quickly with its quick boosting and flying. In the end, the Holofens, or Kraken, is a craft which is stuck as being that one next used by one Lynx and never looked at again. But a Lynx should try out this craft. It's a solid variation to the Judith, that with some tuning and real thought behind how a Lynx wishes to use this next, it could stand toe to toe with the Lahaya. Here ends the report on the next, known as the Type Kraken and the Type Holofens. Fearing the power and independence of these Nexts, the League left them behind on the surface. The Lynx now work as mercenaries for an organization called Kalar.